Okay, I uh, started the truck, cleared the code, it doesn't come back. We'll see how it goes, it doesn't mean much at this point. One more thing on the oxygen se sensor. In the owner's manual, I printed it off um, the mud form. You can also test it, uh, the resistance should be within 11 uh, and 16 ohm ohms and it, it's pretty self-explanatory on the graph itself. Uh, mine was within spec was 13.9 um, so I don't know how if it's gonna last or if it's going out and um, anyway so now to the lights. It's basically uh, clear uh, marker lights for the truck and um, uh, nothing special, just cosmetic basically. I don't like those yellow ones that it comes from the factory. But I don't like these clear ones either, so what I'm going to do is cle clear them very well, uh, mask what I don't want, and I bought some uh, tail lights blackout paint. and going to see how that is going to look. Hopefully it's not going to ruin it and hopefully I'll do um, I guess I'll, I'm going to try and those. They are kind of behind the bumper so if I'm going to ruin them um, it's not going to be that big of a deal I suppose. Uh, but that's that's the plan. And, and this is the paint that I uh, got off eBay. It's called VHT Specialty Products Nightshade. Um, translucent Black Lens Paint. Um, I've seen some uh, YouTube videos um, using the, this paint and uh, most of the people when they black out the tail lights they go like really I think three to four coats to make the, to really flag them out. Um, I'm gonna try one or two coats and see how that goes and maybe it'll get a little bit darker. But let's get on with it. Um, I'm worried about prepping it. Um, some of the videos I, I've seen people doing them uh, for a living, they actually clean them and then uh, with really fine sandpaper, rough it up and then put a coat of adhesive, uh, some kind of adhesive spray for the paint um, to, ad to adhere better. I'm not sure if it's all necessary. Probably is, but I am not about to go and start hunting all those, all those supplies down in our small town. Um, it's possible they are there, but I'm, I'm just not, uh, I'm not that concerned about it. If uh, it's an off-road truck, so if it doesn't come out exactly perfect, um, I guess it's my attitude, maybe a poor attitude, but that's, um, that's just the way I am. I can live with it. Kind of contradicting, why would I go to through uh, trouble painting them and not doing it right, but there's nothing I can say. It is what it is. Uh, so yeah, as far as prepping goes, I'm just gonna use some uh, of the mineral spirits to clean it up, and I'm not even sure if that this is a good idea. I don't know if it's going to um, dull the the clarity of the of the plastic lens. So I'm just gonna try it somewhere in the corner see what it does but again dullness I probably is not a big concern anyway because I'm painting so if it's not perfectly clear that's fine I did try to use uh, uh, those uh, like a window tensing vinyl or whatever you call it uh, but I think the quality that I, I bought was poor 
and uh, I couldn't get rid of the bubbles, so I ended up giving up on that idea and bought this paint. We'll see how that's going to come out. And there's a little bit of residue of um, adhesive that's on the on that vinyl film or whatever you call it. Well, I think it's good enough to give it a shot. This is two coats right here. Now let's see. I probably need a little bit more. This is clear. Yeah, I suppose I can probably give another coat. Clear. It's grayed out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go a tad darker. Well, like I said, those will be under the bumper, or kind of between the bumper. So they will come out a little bit darker. I guess I can live with it. So I'll give, give it another coat. I'll let it dry. I'll prep this one. We'll see. I think I might go another coat, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, and I'm gonna do the same thing to this uh, corner lights also. Um, let's see. This lower ones are gonna be the guinea pigs. They come out good. Then I can be a little bit more aggressive with the corner lights. All right, <clears throat> ready for the corner lights. I figured uh, about four coats look good for the for those. So that's what I'm gonna stick to on this one also. And that should be good. couple of things comparing the Toyota lights, factory lights, with uh, the, <coughs> the depot lights. Um, it's probably used, used the same mold, but uh, the quality of execution is, is definitely uh, better on the Toyota ones. Um, probably not something that... Um, will affect the 
the fitting or uh, at least I already fitted one and, and it's just fine but okay um, lights are on this is uh, by the way I did uh, switch the turn signals from the bottom the light that's between the um, between the bumper to corner lights and those are, sig are turn signal lights now and that's where it looks with them uh, on and let me turn it off okay and that's uh, what it looks like with the lights installed they uh, match quite nicely the rear smoked um, lights and uh, I think I'm pretty happy with it so it did work I don't know how long it would last uh, I suppose I don't see a reason they wouldn't unless because I didn't follow the procedure with um, with the primer or adhesive um, but I guess time will show thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time Okay, this is a close-up. Uh, that gray out kind of uh, really matches the deep green of the of the truck. Uh, anyway, I like it. Um, I think my next step would be to remove all the chrome uh, accents. I really don't care for that. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.